Hey Folding Fam, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I'm going to do the next section of my wardrobe reset. So we're going to organise this little section here. Um, what you're going to see is my new shoe storage, um, how I fold coats, how I store my coats and my underbed storage as well, which I've been trying for the last six months and I'm really happy to now recommend it to you. It's absolutely fab and you'll see in the video how good and like nice it makes under the bed look. We did have to saw a little bit of the wardrobe out to make the shoe storage fit, but I'm really pleased with it. Like that was great. The shoe storage might have to value than that little bit of wood that Jacob sawed out. All the links to the products I've used in this video are in the description box. Some of them are affiliate links and I'd like to thank you for using them because it allows me to generate some income so I can carry on making this content for you across all my channels and also helps me buy new equipment to make better videos or just hire Harry to help me film and edit some really good content. So thank you so much. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna show you the clip. I actually love this clip of the wardrobe before and then I'm just gonna get straight into it because there's so much in this video, you're just gonna love it. So see you at the other side. So here is my coats. As you can see, it's taking up a whole half of my wardrobe. And to be honest, if I go through the coats that I've worn and that I haven't worn, there's not many that I wore this winter. So I'm going to go through them now and I'm actually going to one by one decide if I'm going to keep them or not. Oh my gosh, look at this coat I found. This is what happens when things are unorganised. And this was not a cheap coat. Again, I bought this for my book PR trip and I haven't actually worn it yet. But this is the most gorgeous jacket, which I'm gonna leave in my wardrobe because I want to try and wear this more. I have put three piles here. I've got a pile that I'm gonna keep. These I'm gonna give away and these are going under the bed. So let's fold them down. So now I'm going to finish off this section of the wardrobe by putting in my new shoe storage and also hanging my jumpers and hoodies. So this is the new shoe storage. Now, in true Sophie style, I didn't measure it and it's just a little bit big to fit to. So, because we don't really like our wardrobe anyway, Jacob's going to take out this panel here. So 
cheese storage done. I am really pleased with that storage. I just want to point out that I'm a size 6, which is a 39. Jacob, I want to say is a size 8. Um, and they're just hanging off a little bit. But, doesn't matter. They're still holding. I think they will hold for large sizes. The boots didn't fit like it did in the other one, but they're going to stay on the top. I haven't got many boots, so I think if you've got lots of boots, that's not going to work for you. I've opened the other side of the wardrobe so you can see what a mess it is. Well, actually, it's not too bad. Do you know why it's not too bad as well? Because it's all matching hangers. These are the hangers that I recommend. They're the velvet ones. Um, the reason I recommend them is, one, because they've got these little grooves, and two, because because of the velvet, they nothing falls off them. As you can see, they're all looking really nice. Now, I wasn't gonna do them by color because I needed the length at the bottom, but actually turned out they all fit quite nice. <clears throat> I've also got a few other jumpers coming out the wash, so I know I cannot fill this space, but already it's looking really good. I like to do a little hanger space like we used to do in the store. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. These are literally jumpers I wear all the time. I ain't getting rid of any of these and I'm really pleased with that. So looking much better. You can see what a difference just matching hangers make. It is literally one of my biggest wardrobe tips. Please allow yourself to invest in matching hangers. It makes a massive difference. Let's have a little look of the whole thing. Wow, this side looks nicer than the other side. What did you think? I am so pleased that I've done that section of my wardrobe. Those coats, I don't know why I was wasting my time with them there and all over winter when actually they just should have been under the bed because I hardly ever use them. My top tip for hanging space is your hanging space should be for the things that you wear all the time because it's your most accessible part of your wardrobe. You take anything from this video, take that piece of take that piece of advice and also matching hangers. It's all about matching hangers. Okay, comment in what you want to see from me next time. I think we've still got left. I mean, Jacob's boxer drawer needs doing, as well as his socks, which are those fat Costco ones. Um, and we've also got the other side of my hanging space. We've also got my bedside table that I need to do. And uh, I think Jacob's hanging space as well. So let me know what you want to see. While you're here, please, 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 please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to grow it this year. Um, my goal is 100,000 subscribers. You're going to help me get there. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And by the end of the year, we will be on 100,000 subscribers. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye. And I'll see you next time. I don't know why I wear <laughs> I don't know why I wave at the camera. I don't know. I can't talk to myself. Bye.